Hi friends, today I will explain you what is the role of a national housing bank. So what is their objective, mission, vision, everything I will explain you. So during the uh, my explanation, few points are there for your interview. Somebody is preparing for bank exam, somebody is uh, already working in a bank and appearing for the uh, CAB, JAB and uh, uh, when you are attending for the interview, few points are important points are available please note down okay so national housing bank is subgroup of housing finance and national bank national housing bank is required and they are identified in seventh five year plan that is 85 90 previously we have a five year plan during the five year plan they used to identify few requirements which are required for the country so 85 90 National Housing Bank was identified in the five-year plan. Non-availability of long-term finance to individual household, any significant scale. So, uh, non during the those days, 85, 90, uh, no long-term uh, finance for the individuals. Those want to construct their house or they want to do repair their house or they want to uh, increase their house. They have a ground floor. They want to go for the first floor. So there is no. Uh, long term those date so uh, national housing bank is identified progress of the housing sector recommended and set up the national level institutions so so in uh, in this during that uh, term it is identified that national level institution should be allowable for the housing sector progress to increase the housing sector increase the construction for the all the groups uh, low income group middle income group high income group so for the National Housing Bank, total capital was given by Reserve Bank of India. It is all entire paid up capital is given by Reserve Bank of India. This is important for your bank exams and interviews also. So, July 9, 1988, National Housing Bank was set up. This is also important for your exams. And head office in Delhi, this is also important point for your exams and bank exams and interviews also what is the objective to promote a sound healthy feasible cost effective housing finance to cater the segments of the so not only one sector able to construct those no we should cater to all this sector in rural urban <coughs> low income group middle income group high income group in uh, urban rural areas also construction of houses should be increased and it should be improved uh, uh, national housing banks one of the objective is to promote a network of dedicated housing financial institution adequately serve the regions and different income groups so now okay we have banks they will give loans to business people personal loans housing loans credit card loans but they want dedicated housing finance these people these institutions only meant for giving loans to housing finance, house construction, development, improvements for different regions and different income groups. So, already we discussed rural, urban, semi urban, they want to give loans in all the regions and north, east, west, and low income, high income, medium income groups and housing credit in more affordable. If a rate of interest is 18%, 20% per annum, we are not affordable to take a housing loan and construct a house. If the housing loan interest is 5% or 6%, yes, it is affordable to all the all the people. They can buy land and they can construct their own houses. To supervise the activities of housing finance companies based on the supervisory power. How the RBI is monitoring and supervising all the banks. Same way, all housing finance companies will be controlled and monitored and supervised by the National Housing Bank. To encourage bigger supply of building land, so also building materials, housing and upgrade the house stock in the country. So encourage the uh, bigger supply of building land, so land is available for the construction, building materials is the main objective of the National Housing Bank. To encourage public agencies to emerge a facilitation supplier service land for the housing, yes. So what is the vision? Promoting inclusive expansion with stability in housing finance market it is not like one year uh, construction will be more and next year construction will be less no they want expansion with stability 
their uh, vision. Uh, mission will be uh, and promote the market potential to serve the housing needs for the, all the segments of the people. Already discussed housing uh, needs for all. It may be north, east, west, or it may be from uh, rural, semi-urban, urban, and low-income groups. So they want to. Uh, housing needs for all the sectors, all the segments, all the income groups. This is the, their mission. So, this is important. Uh, please uh, note down. Head office in Delhi and they have 10 regional offices. They want to confuse you. They will give a question like uh, National Housing Bank has a regional office at Jaipur. You say no. Only 10 regional offices and that also Ahmedabad, Bhopal, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Gauhati, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow and Mumbai. What is a milestone? Milestone means what their achievement. It may be once in a five years or every year or every two years. What is their milestone? So, the re now we are in 2023. Latest milestone they crossed is 30th June 2022. Total 19,312 crores was disbursed to housing sector people wants to buy a house they have given the loans to people they want to buy a house or they want to construct a house so managing director important she sharada kumar hota from 27th june 2009 is working as a managing director important for your bank exams and interviews also what are the departments in National Housing Bank, Accounts Department, they are looking after the your balance sheet, trial balance, profit and loss, provisioning. Audit Department, they will verify all the documents and Compliance Department, they will see that all the statutory guidelines, circulars are implemented in our organization and Human Resource Management, they will take care of the human power for the branches, regional offices, head office, IT Department, they will uh, look after the software, reports, generation, everything. Legal, the cases uh, against the bank or against the customers, look after by the legal and recovery, recovery of the default, default amount. Uh, project finance department, not only loans to individuals, they will give the loans to projects also. Refinance, already small uh, housing finance companies, they have lended money to the uh, people uh, buying for loan or uh, buying for house or construction loan. The same loans can be refinanced and they will give the finance to the small housing finance companies. Vigilance department, they will see that uh, no frauds uh, should be identified. They will every time uh, they will be vigilant and they will verify the documents. And uh, uh, guidelines for the liquidity risk management. So, liquidity coverage ratio, I prepared a different uh, video. Please watch. So, in housing finance companies, two sectors are there. One is they will give only loans. Another set of housing finance companies are there. They will give the loans to the customers. The same way they will accept the deposits from the customers. So, to maintain the <coughs> liquidity coverage ratio, these uh, separate criteria given for the housing finance company. If the housing finance company accepting deposits means if their loan portfolio is 1 rupee also, they have to follow these rules. <coughs> if any housing finance company, they are not accepting any deposit from the customers, only they are giving the loan means the minimum their loan asset size should be 100, 100 crores and above. Then only they have to follow these rules. If you see the rules uh, for different categories, if your asset size is uh, 5000 crores and above and less than 10,000 crores or above 10,000 crores, certain uh, criteria you have to maintain. So, now we are in uh, December 2023, uh, you have to maintain 70 percent of the LCR. If you take uh, December uh, 2023, so your uh, 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 LCR should be 60 percent. So, by uh, first, first December 2024, it should be 85 percent. If the your uh, asset size is 10 crore, 10,000 crores are above. So, depend on your uh, size, you have to maintain the liquidity ratio. If you are accepting deposit means, your loan size is 1 rupee also, you have to maintain these ratios. What are the master uh, directions? If housing finance giving loans to 
uh, against the shares, then LTV should be 50%, 50% means if you have taken a loan, shares worth of 1 lakh rupees from the customers, you can give 50,000 rupees as a loan. If you are taking gold as a security and 75% is the LTV. So, if you receive 1 lakh worth of the gold from the customer, you can give a 75,000 loan only. So, 75% LTV loan to value. So, your housing finance companies, they have to follow the KYC norms defined by the or by our Reserve Bank of India as per 2016 and monitoring of the faults as per Reserve Bank direction 2016. So, master directions for the securitization action 2021, you have to follow all these circulars and different uh, returns to be submitted by the housing finance uh, companies. Uh, you have a monthly returns, half yearly returns, quarterly returns, annual returns, annual returns, all public deposits taken from the customers and loans given to the different category, category wise you have to submit. Half yearly if you take your asset classification, how many loans are in standard, substandard, doubtful, loss, what is the provision you made, everything you have to submit half yearly. Quarterly you have to submit your uh, investments, your investments in central government, state government bonds, fixed deposits in uh, commercial uh, banks, these details should be submitted quarterly. And uh, you have a quarterly uh, asset and liabilities uh, report and profit and loss, everything uh, exposure to sensitive sector, everything you have to submit quarterly. Monthly you have to submit uh, what is the loans you are given, what is the loans you are taken from other uh, organization, asset quality, so how many there are in uh, standard, substandard, what is the interest rate structure, if it is 8 percent, how many loans you are given, 9 percent, how many loans are given, everything should be submitted monthly. LCR you have to submit, uh, liquid coverage ratio you have to submit uh, for the 30 days and uh, asset liability management, if you are uh, uh, taken deposits from the customers and you are given loans then maturity pattern. So, next 30 days, what is the amount you have to pay and what is the amount you have to receive. Next 60 days, 90 days, like different buckets will be there. During the bucket, what is the inflow, outflow should be mentioned in your asset liability management return. And 20 major exposure returns, these I will explain in next video. Uh, board liquidity return, you have to submit then uh, surface uh, return, how many cases are under surface act and a legal notice is given, everything, what is the status of the asset, everything you have to mention and a statutory audit uh, certificate, yes, this also you have to submit and uh, complaints uh, with FDI, foreign direct investment, if you have taken any uh, foreign direct investment from other countries. You have to mention, you have to maintain the report and you have to submit the return. Overseas investment, if you have invested uh, any housing finance company, they have invested other than India, then you have to maintain the uh, report and it should be submitted. Then uh, internal uh, interest rate future, what is the interest rate uh, uh, in future, that details you have to maintain and the return should be uh, uh, submitted depend on the future market growth. Uh, so, FATF uh, all compliance certificate, this is for the uh, your uh, uh, terrorist uh, finance, all those things, norms you have to follow as per the RBI guidelines. So, different uh, reports, your uh, statutory auditor certificate reports for the capital, whether it is sufficient or you have to increase or uh, uh, floating charges, SLR, your investment against the state, uh, uh, government bonds, central government bonds, in bank deposit, what is the uh, charge and you have to change the percentage. So, change in the shareholding partner. So, how many shares uh, allotted to individuals, organizations, foreign institutions, QABs and what is the pattern and how it is changing in quarterly you have to maintain. Uh, Changes in directors, any director has changed, new, re, removed, uh, any any uh, director has resigned or the new director joined, all these things you have to maintain and the statutory auditors, any change is there, who is the auditor that you have to submit. 
and uh, what is the financial products and what is the rating given to your financial products everything you have to maintain what is the dividend you have declared and what is the demand you have paid to your uh, investors everything you have to maintain and it should be submitted thank you friends if you like my video please uh, comment on my video and uh, please share my channel details with your friends also